Hi. So I just wanted to know what your take was on, you said with education to fire the bad teachers. What's your definition of bad teachers? Great question. So how many people here think you've had at least one teacher that deserves to be fired? Everyone raised their hand always. Always. Um, so the question is, how do you find them, right? So I got this question asked a lot. Here's the interesting thing. So when President Obama was running for president in 2008, one of his big things, he said it over 40 times, was that we need to have a system that rewards good teachers and fires bad ones. But the question is always, how do you find the bad ones? So is it test scores? Probably not. Is it you know, peer evaluation? The best metric is you have teachers grade teachers and you have parental input. Here's the thing, you know the really, really bad teachers. The, those have gotta go. I had teachers earning $150,000 a year, barely showing up for class, teaching gym, doing nothing, being completely lazy. They're a drain on the school budget, they're a drain on the local community, and they should be fired instantaneously. The problem is, under current teacher tenure laws in certain states, in most states, they are protected by by contracts designed by teacher unions that make it nearly impossible to fire bad teachers. If they're not productive, they don't put time in. So I, I would support reform and a system that allows really good teachers. Here's the thing, some teachers, this might be a surprise to some of my liberal counterparts, so I had te public, te public school teachers that changed my life that did unbelievable amount of work. They got in at 6, 6 a.m. every day. They worked their tail off. Then I had teachers that would take half the year off. They just didn't care. They were, they were you know, bratty, they thought it was horrible. And yet those, the, the one that didn't put in as much effort was earning more than the person that was just there. That is not the way that we should reward, I think, I believe, teachers in, in this country. Teachers are modern day heroes. I'm very, very pro-teacher, very anti-teacher union. So I think that's the big distinction. So. What about professors? Okay. Professors? Yeah, like that's, college, at the college well, that's a, I, I believe this similar thing. I think that we currently have a system that rewards professors that want to write their book and sell it back to their class. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think that's well, it's, it's a fair point. Um, it it's also rewards professors that do most studying um, and not actually engaging with their current class. Here's the problem is that most college freshmen are taught by TAs, teacher's assistants. So they're, they're getting something, they're paying for something they're not even getting. Um, it's, it, I think measuring value in a professor should be different than that of a teacher, but here's the big difference is that, that public school teachers in K through 12 education um, have to be held to a different standard than professors. It just has to be. It's a different, there's more K through 12 teachers than there are professors, a lot more, almost 10 to one ratio. Okay, but with the whole point on the TAs, they're usually doctoral students? Yes. That are turning into professors, so why is that a problem? How are, how are the TAs supposed to Because when become you start to have class sizes that are 500 people and plus, when you have TAs that are not yet masters on the subject that you're paying a pretty penny on, that deserves question. Because you are going to college to learn from subject matter experts in an environment where you can dive deep into that particular topic, so on and so forth. So if I'm paying or I'm being forced to pay $800 for this sociology class or you know, human studies class or North, you know, and I'm getting taught by a TA with 800 people in a lecture hall this big, that, that could, that there's something I think wrong with that. I think because you're, you're paying a pretty penny for something that is then you know, very, I would say, inadequate.